There we go. Now we're going. Welcome back, everybody. Okay. I just missed the click the first time. Oh, right. I forgot. I already got over here. We're in the Argos Rio. So we can wrap up these, uh... These side quests. And once we're done with that, we'll be moving on. We've got Vermeyer, Ilos, getting stuck on the Citadel for like two seconds, and then we'll, we'll be done with this game. Got to storm the storm the castle, back at the Citadel again once Ilos is done. It's also kind of snack time. Yeah. Rascal ate a slice of pizza today. He's still healing. He's just being a pain about it. Hello? There's a baby rat and I screaming in the distance. <laughs> right. Oh. Area secured. Is it? There's rumors that Dead Space, the, the, the whole series, is getting remastered. I'm excited. <laughs> Yeah, both those games are really good. Yeah. I can't wait. Because when the remaster happens, probably won't be this year, we'll be able to, um, to do those in the, in the next, in the future. Mm-hmm. If it's, if it even looks any different, because... Those were kind of top of the line. It still looks Personal good Personal data today. recorder for Major yeah. Elena Flores. That's, um, that's two more games on our list. Play the first entry. Yeah. Sigma-23 is almost fully operational. The barracks and storage lockers are complete and we've begun stocking over. the munitions. Oh, no. It's highly unlikely the Alliance will patrol in the nebula. I expect <laughs> our only risk will be from pirates, and who will believe them? Oh, Looks like we'll have space it? for two reinforced platoons of Cerberus it's commandos. In, in between the... Cerberus. Cushions. I've about had it with those guys. Play the second entry. The package arrived today for field testing. I'm told they're fundamentally similar to the units being developed on Novaria. They promise this batch will be stable. Something about them developing in proximity to the master control unit. We detected some pirates setting up an anchorage in a neighboring system. I think we'll try deploying them there first. Play the last entry. They've escaped containment. Clever bastards. We treated them like animals. We should have treated them like POWs. They're spreading. Boarding the supply ships and sending them to random destinations. They'll be all over the cluster in a week. General, if you recover this message, my advice is, screw the Rachni. They're too smart. Use one of the other projects. Flores, signing off. For the final time. This is a familiar story. A failed experiment with the Rachni. Nice to see humans are consistently stupid. Thanks, Rex. Let's go. I think that's it for that one. Oh no, we actually gotta go to a planet. I'll set off the demo charge. Is it, is it, yeah, there's a room back here that we didn't go into yet, so that's probably where it's at. To the cockpit! Or not, I guess. Fuck me. Oh, maybe it's the bomb that's sitting right here. <laughs> Could be. Possibly. The thing that says uh, demolition charges? Yeah. Let's run past all of them. Right. Definitely going to. Dude, poison me. I 
think they're trying. Yeah. <laughs> you just stepped on one. Yeah. And got $25,000. Uh... I'll buy you two bean burritos if you kill that guy. <laughs> Aw, fuck. Go. You gonna make me act up. <laughs> the fractured butthole in a nutshell. There it is. It's like that little bit of a burp you have left, but it's like bringing up stuff. Yeah. Sorry if this is gross to anybody. It's just, just a natural conversation between us, honestly. Just what we do. Message coming in. Oh, yeah? Patching it through. The general distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. Sacred Angel, landing. isn't that the place where JD worked? It's Margo's Sacred Heart. Yeah. I know what it was. Communications failing. Life support and emergency transponders. Won't last long. Please hurry. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like they've got everything under control. Ah, they probably got it. Yeah. Cut contact, Joker. <laughs> Man, that's fucked up. They are... More than likely dead. Yeah. Fuck. <clears throat> Cheeto time. Okay, just lay on your Cheetos, that's fine. Do I tell you how to eat your Cheetos, father? <laughs> What, you don't warm yours up <laughs> underneath your balls first? I mean... <laughs> Adds a little bit of salt to them. Listen. Maybe you just never tried it. Maybe not. Boy, this series went off the rails. Yeah, it did. It started off with, we're going to have a fun space adventure, too. You've never eaten ball Cheetos? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Listen, man. Tangy. Space stuff that gets weird, all right? When you're out here in the galaxy for so long with all your friends. When your legs don't work like they used to before. Yeah. 12%. Charging a lot faster than I thought it was. Yeah. We were strategizing Pokemon for our, our new teams. Yeah, which sucks because I'll have to make a new team because I can't use my signature Pokemon because it's not in Gen 8. Oh. Okay, right. My signature Pokemon is Ursaring. The Pokemon everyone forgets that exists. Including Game Freak. But more bears, though. It's just... It, You've got all the bears you need. I have all the bears that I need, but I want my bear. It has a ring on his stomach, and it's mad. Yeah. It's very mad. It's so mad. It can learn throat chop. I want it. I want it now. I want it to fucking just punch somebody in the throat and just be like, Brah! <laughs> Brah! As it's using hyperbeam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just Garrison, stop it. <laughs> Shepard, Shepard, come on now, stop. Shepard, you're starting. You're driving too recklessly. No. <laughs> Quickly changes. <laughs> no. No, this is extremely safe driving. What's wrong with you? You called this safe? Yeah. What are you talking about? I'm this doing backflips. Fuck. Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> it hit me the way I said that. Yeah. I'm doing backflips. Not for a little. I watched a um, what happens if Garrus is dead in Mass Effect Three. Oh yeah. Wow. Does it change a lot? Uh, some dialogue is given to other people, but it's like this game isn't the same without Garrus. Three's entire experience it differs depending on if you just jump right into it or not. Fun fact, that's how I played the game. And uh, in that playthrough, Kali and Garrus were both alive. Okay. The default, Garrus is alive. If you ever manage to get Garrus killed, you have failed. Oh, you wow. fucked up somehow. You should not have worn Sedonis, is what I'm saying. Right. How much different like the game audio sounds when I've got the microphone plugged to the TV? Yeah. I think I need this. Check your check your things. I'm pretty sure it's all off. Ugh. Nice. Oh. Hey, there's still Geth in the tunnels. Hey. Good to know. They're doing great. I wonder if that does anything for the next game. Probably not. The Geth are still in Ferris' tunnels. Uh -huh. Shepard, oh. you fucked up and didn't kill the Geth in those tunnels. Now we can't be friends with the Geth. Yeah. What do you mean? They're lost. So Fidan is dead. I can't I can't turn in the quest. Yeah. But no, I think it only differs if uh, if you don't do the other ones, because it's already confirmed that the, that the colony is succeeding again. So that's the uh, that's the only thing that matters. Mm. We got them food and water. <laughs> this happens with every series we do. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna do 30 minute episodes. We'll, we'll go 45 for the first episode. Yeah. We'll go 45 for this one because we're not doing much. Right. We'll go long for this one because we're not doing much. Right. And then it just turns into hour-long episodes. <laughs> right, right, every, right. Every series. Every every single one. Except for, like, Pokemon. Yeah. That one's easier to just kind of stop. Could you imagine if we actually kept to a 30-minute thing? This series would be two times. We're on, what, episode 19 now? We did 38. Yeah. Some series, we just can't stick to the time timeline. Yeah, we would have nothing accomplished if we tried to do that for Persona 5 Strikers. Which I'm pretty sure is out by the time this comes out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I spoiled it in the last one, so... Oh, in, did in the you? Stick of truth, so... Which just makes the episode one uh, title even better. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hidden structure. Anomaly. Hidden structure, Deborah. but not your mom. <laughs> <laughs> what what was that quote? It was um hang on, I got this I, I wrote a text of any music or something. It was Crimson Cider? Hell I barely know her. <laughs> 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 That's the good one. Oh, so that, uh, in Naruto, the, uh, the alternate arc that I was watching, it was, it, it was a really cool thing. It was, uh, Tsunade's dream world. Um, oh, and by the that... the console has to restart before I can transfer the data. Oh, no. Damn it. And by that, I mean the, um, what happens is Jiraiya is alive, and he actually finishes his book about Naruto. His, his Naruto. Uh -huh. And um, so she's reading Jiraiya's story. And it just happened to be in, an alt universe for the, the Naruto um, story. It was really cool. Neat. Um, going back to stupid quotes that I'm going to use for later. I, I stole two from Nanners. Which is... Um, I'm just a wild hog set loose on this planet in search of wives to fuck. <laughs> you know what you should do? <laughs> you should play Nanners on full volume. <laughs> they already think I'm a degenerate. A degenerate. <laughs> a degenerate like me belong on the cross. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I just remembered another one she said, which is, I may not be making a lot of noise, but your wife sure will. Nice. Uh, one of my absolute favorites is the way she says, make sure to brush your teeth, because I need them uh, for later. Uh, okay. And her whispering voice. Yeah. Make sure you brush your teeth. Because I need them. For later. <laughs> and then just continues on to what she was doing. Right. Shepard, no! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Flying through the air. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Shepard, what are you even doing? Come on, Garrus, you know it. Yeah. Like a drifter! <laughs> no, I really don't! <laughs> and Rex is just, And I made up my mind! Yeah. It's like, in! Yeah. Rex is in! Oh, that hurts my throat. <laughs> <sighs> Sending and receiving your save data is actually really quick. Yeah. And not like a three day make sure your both consoles are charged to make sure this is th this goes through. Yeah. And I know I'm sorry, we gotta I gotta stop saying that. We're too close to the original. Yeah. I'm gonna get copyrighted. You sound too good. 
paper already gets copyrighted, I'm sure. Here I go again! <laughs> On my shit! <laughs> Putting in Pokemon's shield. Oh, they're updating. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of updates that yeah. need to be done on this. Yeah, yeah, like everything should be updating. <laughs> we haven't turned on the light in fucking, in probably almost a year by now. It's been a while! Just in time for the pro to come out. <sighs> oh, okay, it's so, uh, sh uh, swords going first. I was wondering why the bars didn't look like they were going. Oh. It's been a while. Time to this is the place. <laughs> My armor. Time to just the place. <laughs> Thanks, Rex. <laughs> Working hard for the Get money. Down! Like just. I can imagine uh, Jane Shepard, which her canon that's her canon name is right. Jane. Um, I can just imagine her just bursting into a room to like '80s power nice battles, and just shooting and killing. Yeah. Ancestors ever wore this piece of crap, but at least I've got it back. I'm glad we could help you get it back. I might just be starting to like you, Shepard. Rex touches his grandfather's armor. His expression, thoughtful, perhaps. Krogan are hard to read. Then he shakes off his be amusement and be. Say it again? Bemusement. Bemusement. That's a big word. I can't say it. Well, it's also... It's small to me, so I can only imagine how hard it is to see for you. Yeah. And grips his gun with renewed purpose. Time to move on. Good. His mind is at ease. Just in time to die on Vermeer. <laughs> Fucking bet. <laughs> right? We'll fight. <laughs> yeah, no. He, 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 we gotta get him to three. <laughs> Gotta get him to three. Just for that Citadel DLC. Yep. <laughs> Just for him to die out of the room, Iron. You fucking bet! <laughs> You'll die on Vermeer before he will. Truth. Alright, that's absolutely everything.
loading screen. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Where? Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get I'm you in underneath their radar, you. Commander. You've got a clean drop, Commander. Take now. Yeah, Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until right. I bring those AA yeah. towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. Why were we outside of the car? That's a good question. Did you see you can move? Uh huh. Same thing uh huh. I was just spinning around in circles like one of them. I think Vermeyer is my favorite world in this game. It's so pretty. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. We got a hitchhiker. And now you're against the wall on my team. Yep. You know how busted an engineer with the um, adrenaline is? No. It's an instant reset of all of your abilities. That's pretty busted. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out. Ready to continue. On your mark, Commander Shepard. Get set. Go. Which is the one where we uh, we blow up one of them? Say again. Which is the one where Ashley or Caden dies? Is that this one? Yeah, that's this one. This is the one that has both. You can kill Rex and yeah, your... you can lose two party members in one world. That's dumb. Who would ever kill Rex? Ashley. For, yeah, Shepard. There you are. I didn't realize you was hiding. Good God.
Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. Better. There's the camp. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. Oh, that's just great. What now? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the Genophage. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army... It would be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. It looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. Just drop it. He'll be fine. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. It's not the same to me, bitch. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. Yes, for anything else, I suggest you speak one. with Captain Kirahi. <clears throat> Let me see Anyways. what you have. <laughs> what little there is. I know we've got the points, but just to be on the safe side, if I fuck this up. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the Genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon, and if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren, tools. Is that what you want for them? No, we were tools for the Council once. Thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. 
Isn't it ridiculous how easy that is? Yeah. And people are like, not kill him. Yeah. Maybe they just never did anything with him. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Shut Not so fast, up, LT. Kid. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Shut the fuck up. Go with the Solarians. Aye, aye, Commander. But at the same time, I'll have I mean, the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy yeah. and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Well, listen, I could, I you have any questions before we go, Commander? It's not your call. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Fuck. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. This game's about fucking well, choices. Well, this is it. We get this. Don't do we anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I hey, just... damn. Good luck. It's a dangerous situation. Keep your eyes open and be ready for anything. You bet, Commander. Did she say bet? I think that you was just an audio log what is that, was, uh, that was cut off. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. Oh, the whole we are trained for espionage. Yeah, but arguably we would one be of the legends. Best speeches. But the records are sealed. The character we just met. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. I don't think we do, but I hope to also. There is a way to save him. You gotta do um, the... Uh the side missions before you reach the main compound, and I think he survives, but it's really hard to do. Are we not doing the side missions? We are. They're basically on the way Com there. It's just I don't know if it's time sensitive or not. Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. And that's where we'll end this episode. Oh, are we at... What time are we at? We're at 40 minutes. Okay. <clears throat> that way we can do this whole ass episode and hopefully the Citadel in the next episode. Uh, oh, right, we can stop there. Right, yeah. all right. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys then.